It's axe making time. Okay, that was stupid. Welcome here. Very first thing we need to do before we can get this video rolling is have some coffee. Where did I put my coffee? Oh, I forgot it in the garage. Oh, Timothy. Today is the first day ever that I've made an axe. No, I'm kidding. But the first time ever that we're making axes in the new shop. How sweet is that? So before this shop was even a thing, I was forging these hatchets. That was back in June. I was hoping that Martin was gonna be able to get these finished up before he left. Take off, you hoser. But uh, <laughs> these are almost finished pre-ground before heat treat, which is great. And we're gonna be running these guys right through to completion. Should be exciting. Setting up on the fly press here. We're gonna run these through. So that's what that looks like. This is my uh, oven that I use for doing the heat treat. This is the first time firing it up since I moved and I've just had this crazy time. It took me a while to find the cord. <laughs> but then when I plugged it in, it wouldn't work. I think it was too cold for it to turn on, but it's turned on now, so it's coming up to heat. Bought this at an auction. I think I paid maybe like a hundred bucks. And I just saw online that this is like a $5,000 piece of equipment. <laughs> it's used in labs for whatever they do, dehydrating or drying, or I don't even know. But it's super state of the art. It's got a lot of sensors and stuff in it. So anyways, I'm really glad to see that that's turned on. I'm feeling a little bit bad that I beat the living daylights out of that thing, because axe making isn't that complicated. Those cook for two hours, and then we'll pick them up. So this is out of the heat treat, and this is wire wheeled. And this is the first time I've seen the 1912 wire wheeled. There's something about train rail that has this different finish than any other steel I've ever worked with, and this is the perfect example of it. In my opinion, this rocks this looks so good this finish i hope that does it for you because it's doing it for me 1912 looks like a good year guys that's awesome thank you squarespace for sponsoring this video if you need an online presence, an online identity. Squarespace is where you go. What does that mean? That means if you need a website, an e-commerce website, a portfolio, a gallery, you do a blog, anything you do online, Squarespace has got your back. Did you know every single ax I've ever sold has gone through Squarespace e-commerce website? I can personally say, Squarespace works really good. Squarespace crushes design. They have award-winning templates for all their different categories. Click and drag, baby, that's what I'm talking about. 24-hour customer service. The one-stop shop. Domain name, website, boom, done. Get it all at Squarespace. Man, that rolls. The one-stop shop. Link is down below. Squarespace.com slash TimD, 10% off. Pursue your passion. I'm gonna show you a bit of the process for the uh, sheaths. 
This was sort of masterminded by Martin. This is a sheath screwed together with the Chicago screws. Looks terrible. But what we found is you just cut it rough and then you refine it once it's together and you can get it to perfectly fit. So that's sort of the issue with these things is that the axes are just enough different that you can't have a template that's exactly fit for all of them. Very first step is gonna be actually taking the, uh, taking this line down to the right height. You need just a little bit of the ax sticking up. So what I'm doing, to get the ax nice and tight in there, and then I just give myself a line. And then we go to the sander here. You get all the uh, flabby stuff coming off, but we'll deal with that later. But there you can hopefully see that the ax just sticks a little bit above. So that's so that when we, this pulls around, it actually rides on the ax and it gets real tight. Now, so you pull it tight across the top here, okay? So now it's tight. Quickly take a pen, just mark that line like that. And then we're gonna actually start grinding on the backside first. So the reason I draw the line is that when I'm grinding, I can just kind of hold it where it's gonna sit. Cause if it was here, it wouldn't be tight when you put on the ax. So then your lines would be off. So anyways, these lines are matched up now pretty good. So now that's tight. So now I'm gonna turn it around. I'll just do this with the whole ax on there and hold it tight. And we're just gonna make this, grind all this garbage till it looks good. So there's your front profile. This, this will get cut off. That's roughed in. And then I just gotta work the flap now. There's the finished line and it's all like flush and tight. And that's sweet. So I just then I'll go back and we'll put the snap on now to get that extra stretch to make sure it's really tight. So that's roughed in. We'll go through and do a finer grit and some edge treatment. These are ones that are finished pretty close. I might do a little bit more tweaking on the edge, but you can see. I, I do leave them a little bit rough though. This is the finished leather work right here, right? And and my friend Colin from Alibi Leather Goods, he's freaking out right now. Sorry, Colin. <laughs> because he does like, this is his, this is the wall. This is keep the forge lit wallet. You can see his edge work. The edge work on these wallets is just insane. It's like super smooth. It's just a different piece. The uh, Alibi and Timothy Dick collaboration wallet, keep the forge lit. Colin custom makes these for you. So what that means is they get a, cus a serial number and your initials pounded into it forever. So a couple different styles there. If you're interested in one of them, this would make a crazy cool uh, Christmas gift. A link down below, you can check it out. It's just a different kind of leather work. And for some reason, I really like the way this blends in with everything, but this is, this is a sweet piece of leather work. Anyways. <laughs> Sheets are done. So now we're on to the next thing, which is putting the handles on. But here's the problem. This is the press that I use for that. It's not wired up. So we got to put this into there. All my wires are just a little bit too short. Interesting. I think that the the cold is actually like starting to wear me down like mentally because I'm like this is not that big of a deal but I feel like oh like it feels like a big a big deal it feels like I just kind of want to go in and quit and that's not a normal uh, life approach for me that's not normally what I feel when I encounter problems <laughs> and I feel just exhausted the the coldness um, just like sucks energy out of you. Anyways, I'm gonna try to fight through that feeling and emotion and just keep going because I wanna get this stuff done. I have to get it done, so we'll try this and see where it goes.
can hear it, it's coming to life. I think it's blowing oil. It was low on oil. It wasn't getting oil because it's tipped a little bit because the ground's not level. I'm gonna let it warm up, I guess, and see how this all goes. camera's starting to freak out in the cold. Oh no. Is my camera breaking down, guys? Oh no. Can you see the power hammer? This is so, so bad. Look at the... Looks like it's been an ice capsule. Oh man. I gotta get enough money to put the insulation in, guys. This is not good. <sighs> Please buy an axe. <laughs> oh man, what am I doing? I think I'm gonna stop filming. I think it's just wrecking the camera. In the garage here. Ooh, what a nice break, cause it's heated. Just gonna start detailing and then oiling you guys. So satisfying to see these things come to life here. Looks so good. Still gotta do a oiling on the head and clean that up a little bit. A little bit of oil there. It's a great thing about this product. Just like works so good together. Sheath, handle, head. Anyways, that is so cool. So I just had to quickly fly and I've got them all in the boxes here. Look at, oh, it's just so satisfying to do this. I'm so grateful for everyone who's purchased one of these axes. I don't take it for granted. Two of those hatchets that are not spoken for, they're available on my website, link is down below this video. If you purchase now, should be able to get it to you before Christmas, if that's important to you. I was gonna do more, but you all crushed the candle drop last week, so we're gonna be building candles now, woo! I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Till then, keep the forge lit, hey? Over and out.